friends, my name is Carly, and I'm really excited to do a spooky static electricity ghost experiment with you today. Are you ready? For this experiment, you're just going to need a couple of things. Some tissue paper, just a little piece will do. Some tape. Some scissors. A marker if you want to decorate your little ghost. And most importantly, you're going to need a balloon because this is what's gonna help us create that static electricity reaction. All right, so first things first, we wanna start with making our little ghost friend. We wanna cut a small ghost out of this piece of paper. Our ghost should be two to maybe three inches long, um, which is about the size of your adult thumb. It's a really good measurement. And it doesn't have to be anything fancy. I'm not a great artist, but I'm trying. And I've got a wee ghosty. I'm gonna put some eyeballs on my ghost because I think ghosts deserve eyeballs. We've got some eyeballs. And a little mouth. All right, now that my ghost is properly decorated, I'm also gonna grab a little piece of tape and we're not gonna use a ton of tape, just the tiniest little square, because we want to attach our ghost to our nice flat table surface so it doesn't accidentally fly away on us. So I've got just the tail of my ghost taped right now. And I'm gonna tape it right here in front of me. Now here comes the fun part, friends. So, we wanna take our balloon. Has anyone ever rubbed a balloon on their head before? What happens to your hair? I know mine goes all kinds of wild. It's getting straight up, out to the side, all wonky. We're gonna be using that same static electricity that we create with our hair to get our ghost to dance. Now, if you, like me, have wet hair, this isn't gonna work because the water is gonna interfere with creating that static electricity. But what you can use, if you don't want to mess up your hair, or your hair is wet like mine, is anything fuzzy. I've got a fuzzy rug, so I'm just going to use that. But you could also use fuzzy uh, sweatshirts or fleeces or one of your siblings' heads if they're okay with it and you ask nicely. And they say yes. So we're going to rub our balloon against our rug for about 10 seconds. And what we're doing right now is we are covering the outside of this balloon in negatively charged electrons that are going to attract positive material. So if I slowly move this over my ghost friend, oh, I slowly move this over my ghost friend, I can make my little ghost friend stand up. Now you want to move really, really slowly with this because as you can see, it is very, very delicate, but I got it. Oh, it looks like my ghost friend is down for now, so I can try again. I can rub again and try and build up that coating of negatively charged electrons that are going to attract positive materials, positive and very light materials. Unless, friends, do you think we could do this with something else? What else do you think we could use to make our ghosts? You might want to try notebook paper or construction paper, or you could even try cardboard and see if that works. Let us know how you do. Let us know how you like your new ghost friends. And I can't wait to see your results. Thank you so much, friends. Have a great day.